Just under 400 miles south and southwest of Nantucket right now. It is strengthening and it will continue to do so, kind of bombing out here to the east of the Cape and Islands as we head into late this afternoon and evening. So things have ramped up really over the last hour. We expected that to be the case with the snow filling in, rain in southeastern Massachusetts, wide range in temperatures too. Low 40s, P Town, Hyannis, 38 in Bedford, and then you flip over to the other side of that rain snow line. We're in the low 30s and even 20s from Boston to teens in Worcester. That'll play a huge role in terms of consistency of the snow. Snow, wet pastier at the coast and then fluffier through the interior. Here's the radar right now. Raining on the Cape, stretching back up into Plymouth County right now. That rain snow line hugging from Situate down to Marshfield where it's raining right now. Plimpton, Middleborough, you're right on the line if you're traveling along Route 44 east to westbound. You're talking about rain switching over to those wet flakes mixing in. Visibility is reduced in and around the city of Boston with snow in place and some of the deeper blues you see here all the way from the Merrimack Valley, Plastown, New Hampshire, Salem, New Hampshire, back down over the border from Lowell to Drake it, towards Tingsboro, Lemonster as well. Moderate bursts of rain right along 495 little north and west into the city of Worcester too. So the roads have become snow covered in spots and will not get any better from here. Expected snow over a foot. Worcester to Boston, a lot of eastern Massachusetts here. Mid to Outer Cape, we taper things off. Nantucket to Orleans and Chatham will be on the lower end of these totals with the snow cha uh, rain changing over to snow as we head into the early to mid-afternoon. But places like Lakeville, Brockton, down through Providence, Taunton, just away from the coastline of Plymouth County, we're talking a foot or more. Could someone end up with a 14, 16-inch amount? Absolutely. Back up through 495 into western Middlesex County and then let's say north and west of Lemonster. We're still talking about... 8 to 12 inches. Snow is just one component, Barry. We're talking wind. We're talking waves. This storm is going to be impressive, so we have a lot to watch through the remainder of the day today. Yeah, it really is impressive, and it's a good thing it's uh, moving right along. It's a progressive feature, Danielle, and it's not slowing down. It's not going to go into a block, so we're not going to have it in through tomorrow. That's the good news, because we'll still have some wind on the backlash of the storm even tomorrow, but the pr central pressure of the storm now is down under 970 millibars, closer to 965 millibars and that's getting uh, pretty close to 28 inches or so 28 and a half inches by the time it gets up here when it's probably closer to 950 millibars it's closer to 28 inches on your barometer that's just truly amazing uh, an incredible t pressure drop in 24 hours usually we consider bombogenesis about 24 uh, millibars or so in uh, 24 hours but this one's going to be a uh, approaching 50 millibars, double what we would normally get to uh, satisfy the criteria for the definition of bombogenesis. Here's Boston here. There's a storm there. These are lines of equal air pressure, and the more there are, the stronger the wind. The tightly packed they are, we get lots of wind. You can see they're pretty tightly packed here. It's like what we call a t very tight pressure gradient. It's a big difference in air pressure over a relatively small area, and that helps to create the wind. And the wind right now is running 20 to 40 miles an hour and some gusts even more down toward the Cape. So the uh, corridor of strong winds is going to start whipping up from the southeast and into the region. We've got a wind gust of 51 miles per hour right now at uh, Nantucket. And uh, we're projecting winds gusts, not sustained, but gusts up to hurricane force, 75 miles an hour of much of Cape Cod, especially the islands, possibly parts of the Plymouth County coastline, and certainly up to 65 miles per hour on outer part of Cape Ann for sure. Farther inland, it's a 35 to 50 mile per hour winds as you get into the central part of Massachusetts. With all this fluffy snow, it's going to be a lot of blowing and drifting into tonight. One to three inch per hour snowfall rates. We've had thunder snow already. Providence, Block Island, Connecticut, wouldn't be surprised if over the next couple of hours we have thunder snow here in central and eastern Massachusetts. 6 p.m. onward, the intensity and coverage of the snow will taper off and dwindle after that. The sun's going to be back out by tomorrow, and then it's all about the cold behind it. So, expected snow totals over a foot for a lot of Worcester to Boston. You get to the coastline of Plymouth here, just away from where that rain snow line has been dancing. That's where we're looking at a foot. Could there be some 14, 16 inch amounts here in that pink shaded area? Absolutely. And then, like I said, from the mid and outer Cape, uh, especially Chatham back down to Nantucket, you're on the lower end of these totals. Barry. Several hours here. We've had one to three inches already. We're just going to ramp it up from here. The most intense bands of snow really from late morning right on through the afternoon here. Yeah, we're looking at some real heavy snow in some locations, monitoring all the reports coming in, our WBZ weather watchers and uh, on Twitter and other weather watchers, National Weather Service, so on and so forth. 
So we can pretty much predict with some accuracy that we're going to be about three inches on average by 11 o'clock, not too long from now in many locations. And then it's going to ramp up to as much as seven inches by the time we get to one o'clock in many areas, which get some of these bands of real heavy snow by three o'clock. In Boston, close to 10 inches, 12 inches um, long about 5 o'clock, and maybe maxing out closer to 14 inches around 7 to 8 o'clock this evening. So the bulk of the snowfall happening through the afternoon hours, and it winds down after that. The winds will continue blowing pretty strong here most of the night tonight, but not as ferocious as they will be this afternoon and have been this morning. We're currently getting some gusts around 50 miles an hour in Cape Cod, but it is fluctuating as it always does. At uh, one minute, we have a strong wind gust, and then all, all of a sudden, it's lightened up quite a bit. And that's the way it is with the snowfall. It's very heavy snow, and all of a sudden, it's lightened up as well. So it's fluctuating on all these parameters. But for the most part, we can expect some of these wind gusts to be approaching 80 miles an hour in some locations on the Cape, 50 to 65 quite generally all along the coast in southeastern Massachusetts, 35 to 50 farther inland where they get that fluffier snow. Consequently, we're concerned about the high risk of power outages, especially southeastern Massachusetts in that transition zone, which is going to have more of the pasty, heavier, wet snow, the high-density type stuff. That's where we're most concerned. And, of course, the out, out going out across Cape Cod, where the wind is the strongest. There are still chance of power outages elsewhere, but just pockets of power outages likely uh, farther west in the fluffier snow and where the wind is not going to be quite as strong. Some of the wave heights have really been building. We came to work this morning. The wave heights are like around two to three feet. The buoys are reporting uh, 10 to 12 foot waves out there right now. Of course, much higher to the south, closer to that storm center where there's been a lot of wind all night long. So the coastal concerns continue for the afternoon for the very high tides, exceptionally high tides. Seas running 10 to 20 feet, widespread moderate flooding with a few pockets of a major coastal flooding. And also, don't see this very often, a hurricane force wind warning up here for the coastal waters here. So uh, that is, you don't see that very often, but it's certainly not a hurricane, but the wind gusts will be at, like up to hurricane force, namely 75 miles per hour or even higher along the coastal waters for the afternoon.